Oh, what's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. Um, we are in the studio, so we're going to do our new weekly thing on Sunday. Uh, we got to come up with a name because I was going to call it Social Sewing, but you know what? That name uh, is already taken. Well, a pretty close derivative of, of that name uh, is taken. So I don't want to use that. We need to come up with something else. Maybe just keep it simple and just call it Sewing with Seth. And it's going to be every Sunday like today. And I'm going to try to stick to around 8 o'clock weekly. So as you can see, sit down, girl. I got the little one with me. We are going to do something kind of fun and easy. Uh, what are we making tonight? Um, I don't know. Christmas pillows. Oh. Tell them. We're making Christmas pillows. We're making Christmas. Over here. In that camera. We're making Christmas. <laughs> pillows. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to make Christmas pillows. This is, uh, we're going to do part one of this. So part one of this is going to be to get the applique done. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's fairly simple, pretty straightforward. Um, and the templates I'm using uh, are a template set that I designed called Into the Woods. So let me switch cameras, and you'll be able to look down and see what it is I'm doing. Okay, so uh, ignoring the glare... Um, from my light. Stop, Kenna. You're saying hi to them. So, if you go to HoosierQuiltCompany.com, you can get a set of these if you want. If not, you know, you can just get an idea of what we're doing and draw your own if that's what you want to do. Um, okay, so what you get in this set is you get the truck, um, and then you get three sizes of trees. You get a 12 inch, a 10 inch, and a 7 inch. Okay, and then you get a Sasquatch. <laughs> it's a little hard to see because they're shiny, but you'll see once we cut the shapes out. So that's what I used to make the shapes that we're going to be using tonight. Okay, so step one I'm using about a 20 by 20. Um, Thank you, Michael. Everyone's saying you're cute and you're adorable. Look in there and say, well, just say thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're using like a 20 by 20 square. Okay. Now that's definitely oversized for the final of the pillow. But what you got to keep in mind is we want to stay like in this area because for one, we're going to lose some. We're going to lose some because of our seam allowance. But also, you're going to lose some because your pillow is going to curve around. So you got to keep in mind, you know, this is really going to be like the field of vision. Um, you know, so it looks huge, but it's really not. Okay, so first things first. We need to get a square, right? Mm -hmm. So here's how I did this. So get your cutting mat. And this is really the only time you'll need your rotary cutter for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I took a piece of fabric, all right, and I know that from here to here is more than 10 inches, so that's plenty. Same thing on either side. It's more than 10 inches, so I got my 20. So, I'm going to put a crease in it, okay, and now I'm going to line this up nice and neat, and this is going to give me a nice 90-degree angle right here, okay? So, using your ruler of choice, you can take – no, no, let's use what we got here. We don't need that piece yet, okay? I'm just showing it. I know, but let's show them this. Oh. Um, I'm going to take and – hold on. Do, do, do. All right, I got to get it lined up. All right, so I'm going to take on my ruler and line up 10 here. So I'm 10 from here to there and then 10 from here to here Aww. and I know that this is a good 90 degree angle because 
I'm lined up all the way across here and all the way up here. Ta-da! Okay. I it. See you guys? Thank you. All right, leave that be, girly. Now, like I said, this will really be the only time that you need your rotary cutter. So when we cut this. Cool. Yeah. That's like a pizza cutter a little bit, though. <laughs> That's right. It's a pizza cutter for quilts. Pizza. <laughs> pizza quilt. Who doesn't like pizza, right? I do. All right, so I need a new blade on this. But, boom. Now we'll close it because we really don't need that from this point on. Okay, so now when you open this, you're going to have not only a nice 20 by 20 square, but with your little crease, it's going to give you where your center is. So you'll know, you'll know where to place things. Okay, thank you. Mm. She just kissed my arm. She's very affectionate with Dad lately. And I'm very nice. I know you are. You're a little sweetheart. Yeah, okay, so we'll move this out of the way for the time being. <clears throat> now, uh, we're going to do two different ones, okay? So tonight we are just going to do the applique, the gluing, the cutting, and so on. And then we'll, we'll use the sewing and the actual making pillows and all yes. that for next week. Daddy, what do you okay, want? so... Jump in the gun here. What do you need to do this project? So you're going to need something like this. It's called Wonder Under, and this is from Pellin. I'm trying to say. Um, you can get it from Pellin, or you can use the same thing called Steema Seam. Guys, as you like helping your mothers and sisters, you got to be good. Right. Like me. Okay. All right. Well, let Daddy Come talk, okay? Netflix. Let Daddy talk. Hush for a minute. Um, so this is Pellin Style 805. It's light, uh, fusible webbing, okay? It's, you know, they have different types. You want the light, double-sided fusible, all right? That's what we're using. So, we'll get this out of the way. Now, my idea for tonight is we're going to make the truck and tree and... Get on. If he's uh, cutting down a tree, then we need to make a grove of trees so you know where he's getting his trees from. So, first step. I've already taken, and I've got the Wonder Under on all these pieces here, and I've already cut our trees out. Okay? Just to save some time. Now, I'll show you with... Aww. This piece here, how simple this is. So I'm going to take a piece of Wonder Under, oh, or fusible, Wonder whatever Under. you want to call it. It's just two-sided fusible. I want to call it quilt Christmas. You want to call it Christmas quilt? Yeah. Okay. And I want to call that quilt so magic. So the Wonder Under is just shy of what we need. But that's fine. I'm not going to waste a whole big piece um, just for a few inches because the part that's not glued is going to be in the uh, seam allowance anyway. Don't <laughs> now, if you're somebody that freaks out about cutting anything other than fabric with your fabric scissors... Um, now may be a good time to go get some kitchen scissors or whatever. I kind of have scissors that are just like craft type scissors um, that I don't mind cutting stabilizer or stuff like this with. So keep that in mind. Now we're going to get the iron hot and that won't take but a quick second. But... Something that you want to uh, always keep in mind here. Love you guys. <laughs> so when you cut this, you can fill. This side has a texture. This side feels flat like a wax paper. Okay. I want to show you want? This. No, let Daddy talk. I want to show no, hush. 
you need the texture side down, okay? And now what I like to do first is I get it as close as I can. Stop. Stop. Get it as close uh, as you can to your edge without going over because you do not want to get the glue on your pressing mat. So I do it like this. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to trim, trim this up a little bit. Now, of course, the other way you can do it too is you can put a piece of fabric that's bigger. Um, you know, you could do it that way. That's fine. However you want to do it. I'm just showing you the basics. <laughs> Thank you. I just love kissing people and being nice. I know you do. I just want them to be happy. I know. You always want people to be happy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy. And any guys. Okay. So that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just don't want any of this adhesive hanging off to where it's going to glue on your mat not the end of the world it's more annoying than anything really okay there this little piece here okay so now that i've got it from that side i'm going to take it and always look for straggler pieces, okay? Because you don't want to get like a little piece on your iron. I actually did that earlier when I was doing some prep for this. And I smacked my iron straight down on a big old square of it that was faced the wrong way. Can I touch it? No, it's a little hot. You want to help me iron it? Okay, only touch the iron by the handle where Daddy's holding it. Okay, right here. And we got to keep it moving so we don't burn it. Okay, right here. I want to do it by myself. No, Daddy's got to help you with this. Let go, let go. Oh my God, it's actually warm. Yeah, that's why you can't touch it because it'll burn you. And then what will happen? It'll make your arm sore. Sort. Oh. Okay, so now that we've got this, we can get the base of our first pillow down. What are you doing, singing? Making theme music for us? Okay, so now you can kind of see where I'm going with this. A little bit of snow... Okay, but I want to make sure that I'm not putting um, the far edge of this uh, flannel edge, on here. The edge. So I'm just going to scoot it over, and it'll eventually be cut off anyway. Yay. All right, so now I got where I want this. So now we need to take the backing off. And it's not difficult – it can kind of be a pain sometimes, but what I like to do is I'll take it by the edge and I just kind of ruffle it because you just want to get a little rip. You can also use your seam ripper, however you want to do it, but you take this backing off. You know, if you do it while it's a little warm, sometimes it works a little better. Now, if you start peeling and you notice the adhesive, and you'll know what I'm talking about when you use it. It's hard to tell from what I'm doing, but you can feel right feels here. Good. It's not sticky, but it feels slippery and shiny. I want to feel. Right here. Feel how that feels slippery? Right here. It's perfect. Well, we got to keep, we got to keep pulling the paper off. Can I help? Yeah. Well, hold on. Is it? Oh, man. Here we go. All right, so this is like the... Outbait. Hold on. Let Dad get this. 
As soon as you get a good piece going, it normally will go fairly easy. There we go. And the stuff is staticky. <laughs> it's fun like, when you have it staticky. Yeah. Yeah. He's in. You can throw snow at you, Trevor. And when you walk in, you snow, just can't wait for it to snow, can you? Yeah. And we can make snow angels. Heck yeah, Remember? we can. I want to see the pictures that you take, dude. That um, I took? Yeah. Um, All right, one last little bit. This is where I did some prep earlier because, man, I didn't want to sit through all this while you guys, or have you guys sit through all this while I was doing it. Hey, you're shaking them around, girl. Oh, sorry. Careful now. <laughs> if you want to play, get down on the floor and play. Don't play up here. All right, so now. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a good press and this will glue this layer to that. <laughs> okay. Just like so. Now it doesn't take very long, but you can't be too quick. You've got to give it time for the heat mm. to get through your fabric and melt the adhesive to connect your two pieces of fabric. Melt. Okay. Melt. All right, now, this one's going to be kind of simple. Yeah, it's cool and okay. simple. So, now, the same way that I just put the Wonder Under on this piece of fabric here, I did that with this green fabric, okay? So now you can see it's a little bit easier. You can see that's white. This is the non-textured size. This is like an arrow. And then you just put this down and you trace it. Now, the thing you got to remember is I'm cutting it like this, but I'm going to flip it this way. Okay? So a good example would be if I want my truck to face like this, I need to cut it that way. So when I'm gluing it, I flip it over. But these trees doesn't such matter. But I put it on here. I used a simple mechanical pencil and traced it. So after that, you just cut it out. And then we're going to use, I think, some this pillows like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to do one more Christmas tree. A medium like that. Yeah. Where's a small one, though? Maybe we'll group them a little closer together. There you go. I like that. It's like a mini forest. It is a mini forest. All right, so same thing. Hopefully this goes a little smoother. But you know me. I show you guys how it is. There's no, like, fancy editing. Y'all see my mistakes because I want y'all to know, like, everything's not perfect like you see on TV. That way when you're doing it and you're like, uh, they made that look so simple. How come I'm screwing up? Well, it's because they just edit out all their screw-ups. I like these Christmas trees. Why should we can put... Should we bunch them a little bit and put them kind of one a little bit over each other like that? No, we should put those on our tree. Those no, this is going to be a pillow for the couch so we can have Christmas decorations on our couch. Yes! What we can think? make it pink or yellow or blue. We should make a rainbow one. That's right. Make the rainbow! Okay, so I think I kind of like that. I'll pick you up a little higher. You guys can kind of see a little more. There we go. 
I think I kind of like that. It looks like a little grove of trees. Like Something simple. Tea. I'm not going to put any words on this one. But you got to remember, it doesn't look very full, but it will be full because we're really only going to be about here. And actually, this guy might need to come down some. I don't like that. So I've got them where I want them. They already have the Wonder Under on it. So I'm going to make sure we're good. Final check. And then I'm going to start pressing. Press. And you want to press. You don't You don't want to iron. Okay, because you don't want it to move. And just do it a little bit initially to get everything laid down. There we go. Yay! Now, the awesome thing for me kind of makes this project a little special is Christmas is really hard for me every year. My mom absolutely, what? I used to think that she was like, you know, Mrs. Claus was her spirit animal. She absolutely loved Christmas. And every year, even as adults, every year my mom made Christmas like magical for us. Daddy. And so Christmas can be a little tough around, what you know, for me. Tree? But this project here is actually, um, I'm making it using my mom's stash. What so, happened? Uh-oh, I flicked my light out. <laughs> so the, um, watch out, babe. The tree fabric in the background pillow fabric is actually from my mom's stash. Now, the white that you're seeing is uh, just flannel from Joanne Fabrics. That's better. I can see so we're gonna now. Have a little bit more mom with us uh, during Christmas with this project. So I like that. My mom's name is Brittany. Yes, she is. All right, so this first half of this one is done. Let me hammer. The next part is going to be to do the stitching and to actually construct the pillow. Okay, so my thinking was we have a grove of trees for one pillow. So what? we're going to set this out of the way because it's still hot. And we can't part. forget that fabric has a memory to it when it's hot. What about this part? Can I play with that part? So if it's warm and you lay it wadded up all over the place, it's going to get wrinkled and stay that way until, well, until you iron it. Okay, so... I can't. All right. There to go. All right. So now we got a grove of trees. Let me see that. All right. We'll stop flickering it around everywhere. We got us a grove of trees, and now we need us a pickup truck that is going to haul the tree out. So I'm going to cut this. Are you okay, Daddy? I'm okay. But you said ouch. <laughs> no, I said out. Out. Oh. I'm going to cut it out. <laughs> I thought you said ouch. Here, let me have this one. What? Play with that one. There you go. Thanks. All right, so we're going to take this, and this is going to be the truck that's hauling the tree away back to the house. Now, I think I'm going to do some kind of wording on top here. Not sure yet. I'm going to ask the wife because, you know, any smart husband, that's what you do. Ask her, see what she wants it to say. Merry Christmas, Noel, um, you know, something. 
but we'll figure that out and we'll fill in some of that negative space up top so now the nice thing about this template set is come springtime we're going to be doing another project and we're going to be making a camping theme quilt because this is just one part of the template set um, there's campers uh, there's canoes there's tents there's a fire we'll take a look at those here in just a second but now remember when i folded this in a square and it gave me my exact center so now i know like i don't want to be in the dead center because i'm going to put some words up top so I want to be a little below center this way. Stop. I'm just saying hi. Okay. Well, hush for a second. All hi, right. Hi. And you can't really see, but right down here, this little uh, part Hello. of the tree is sticking out. So I'm going to trim that. And we're going to leave it just like that. And now that I got everything how I think I want it, we're going to press it. Now, if you got a straight stitch machine, that's fine. You can use a straight stitch machine. If you have one uh, that happens to have a blanket stitch or a zigzag, that works too. That's kind of tra tra traditional stitching for an applique. But you can make it work with just a straight stitch. Just set your stitches to really small, and then you're going to go around the outside. And that's what we'll be doing next week. <laughs> Uh, when we get to where we're going to finish these. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Pretty simple. A little bit of applique in the template set. We've got the set of trees for one pillow on the couch. And then we got the truck that's hauling the tree away. And then it'll say Noel or Merry Christmas something. We'll, we'll do something up there. Mm. What do you think? Mm. You like it? I want that one for to me for my All right. pillow. That one my pillow. So, shameless plug real quick. I've worked hard on these. Um, I've actually been no. trying to develop some stuff, so I think I've showed you guys quickly, but quit. Watch out. So if you order this template set, and you can get it from whosyourquiltcompany.com, you will get these three size trees, 12, 10, 7. You'll get the truck. And you will get a Sasquatch. Okay? That's one set. And then the add-ons or separately, if you don't want these, we've also made some other really cute additions. So, like, there's a boat in the trailer. Boat in the trailer. There's a vintage camper that you can tow behind it. Camper, camper. That comes with Door. the doors and the window cutout, so you can make window. those. Or something that you don't normally see is the um, camper I that goes on the actual camper. bed of the truck, like so. <laughs> which is really cool it even has the tow hitch that clicks in like that oh. and then just for fun a christmas tree <laughs> we made christmas trees no we're not christmas trees silly <laughs> we made a tent and a fire and also a camper in a canoe canoe 
So, what's a canoe for? Who's your quilt company .com. These are all the into the woods templates. Um, if you want the one to make the project we just made, that set is called Base Camp. So, not to pitch it, but if you want to be able to make what I just made, that's how I'm making it. So, all right, well, that is our project. So, thank you for joining us. Next week, we will be doing the uh, stitching, and we're either going to turn these into a pillow and just leave them stuffed, or the other option would be to take the back and make an overlapping uh, back to where we can open it up and stuff a pillow in there and make these in the pillow covers instead of making them be permanent Christmas pillows. I think that's probably the route we'll take. So that way the couch Hello. pillows, um, <laughs> that way we can just dress up the pillows that are on the couch and not make more pillows. We can just put these away. Stop. Ow. Girl, girl, I'm telling you, you've been extra, extra lately. Are you in a good mood though? Yes. Are you glad you came down here? I'm going to stay here for you a do? little bit. Okay. Tell everyone we got to go because it's getting close to bedtime. Right here. Look in here. Say thanks for hanging out. Thanks. No, you can't yell. <laughs> you got to say thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out at my house. There you go. Thanks for hanging out at her house or at the studio. <laughs> anyway, this is Seth. Um, this is going to be the first of a Christmas hopefully tree. a regular Sunday thing. Okay. So we'll come up with a name. And um, we'll get it down to a kind of a regular time. I'm thinking 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the project. I didn't want to do this whole thing right now because it would definitely be more than an hour to make two pillows start to finish. So step one is uh, what we've done tonight. Step two will be next week. We'll get all the stitching done and actually the construction of the pillow covers themselves. So thanks for hanging out and uh, happy quilting. Tell them bye. I did. Do it again. They didn't hear you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I said the same thing, but then.